Today on Bumpy Road Brews, trying to get these Irish beers out to you prior to St. Patrick's Day so you have a chance to look for them yourselves. I have from O'Hara's. Uh, well, maybe it's not from O'Hara's. I don't know. It says O'Hara's on it, though. It's O'Hara's Irish Stout. This one is a nitro. It says Craft Brewed in Ireland. Chill, pull, pour, pause, and enjoy. Um, the reason why I say I don't know if it's actually called O'Hara's, I, I thought it was, but uh, it says uh, it's, it's imported. It's uh, brewed by Carlo Brewing Company. It says Bagan Alston, uh, I think it's County, Carlo, Ireland. Uh, the best before dates on the bottom. So I guess I thought it was always O'Hara's Brewing Company, but uh, oh, maybe they got bought out. Maybe it's like one of those things. Who knows? Um, but it's best before December twenty eighth, two thousand twenty four. It looks like um, so they give these things about a year. I would say uh, I have been looking forward to having uh, something from what well, with this name on it, anyways. Uh, for a while, I uh, never really found it until I think last year. I think I started seeing some stuff, but it was like past past the time that you'd really want to do the celebration of uh, of all these Irish drinks. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and crack this one. It is nitro, so I'm gonna do my best uh, to pour it into this glass. This is a uh, 512 Brewing Company glass I did get from uh, my friend Flacco. So check out his channel, anyways, uh, Flacco. Um, beer reviews. He's actually doing homebrew uh, right now as well, so very interesting. Uh, fresh into the homebrew scene, uh, so check him out. Uh, so yeah, let's use this glass. I don't use these glasses often, um, but I think it's kind of appropriate for what we have here. Let's crack it. Oh, uh, I believe it's oh, it's 4.3% ABV. Alright, let's go. Um, We're good. All right, you got that nice cascading effect going there. I'll just kind of set this down. We'll chill. I had to stop. I do have a little bit left, but I mean, that was just going to overflow. So you need a much larger glass, but good cascading effect happening there. Um, the head on this is that very, very tight knit, uh, frothy, creamy looking nitro head, um, a bit khaki in color. The beer itself has some nice ruby red um, coloration coming through the bottom of the glass. So it's a deep brown, um, borderline blah, blah, blah. blah black but uh, definitely a nice ruby red coloration um, coming through uh, all right all the cascading effect has ceased I'm not sure if that's as good as uh, the Guinness um, cascade uh, with the uh, the draft that they have um, but let's just give this a sniff yeah you get uh, some of the robust maltiness from afar Let's just get in a little bit closer. Yeah, it's it's got that nice kind of um, darker, uh, kind of that uh, toasted barley, toasted roasty. It's this is like a slight like uh, kind of coffee note to uh, kind of fruity like the darker fruits. A little bit of like a char type type aroma. It'd be really cool if they would. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody does it or not. If it's ever been done or what, but I mean, it's just my idea. I think uh, a barrel aged Irish stout, and then nitro it. <laughs> that would work wonders. Get some uh, if you got some like nice woodiness, barrel bourbon type stuff or whiskey, uh, Irish whiskey. Those. They probably already do it. Oh, dipping my nose just a little bit. But yeah, that's the main factors. Um, 
for the most part. I'd say this one smells maybe a little bit more of that char um, than it's been so long since I've had a Guinness um, draft, Irish Irish Stout draft. But uh, yeah, I think this one just has that like kind of edge on that kind of char note. It's just it's just a bit of kind of a darker roastiness. Um, let's uh, dive on in here. Cheers. Very creamy um, mouthfeel going with that that nitro. Um, oh yeah, there's a big char on the finish. Uh, it's I don't think it's as coffee forward as as the Guinness. I'm, I'm sorry I keep comparing it to it, but that's really all I have to go by. It's just got a real real robust um, toasted or roasted uh, malt presence, darker malts. Getting a lot of char on the finish. Um, it's got a little bit of an ashtray type thing going for it. Um, yeah. Uh, if you're not like a big coffee fan, I think that, like, as I'm not, um, and this one works pretty good. I mean, it's not super, it's not like super coffee roasted. It's more focused on just like the charring, um, the, the darker darker malts um it's just more like roasted toasted robust char um the fruit notes uh, that's more in the aromas i don't get a lot of like dark fruit on the palate just a just a smidgen of uh, the fruitiness um i get almost like a tobacco-y like like a, an actual smoked tobacco um, type thing uh, happening with this one. The body on that, I mean, it's super light, very, very light, um, floaty, very creamy um, carbonation. I mean, it's nitroed, so there's no like <laughs> bubbles really in this. It's just smooth. Um, the top of this, let's just read it. It says smooth and creamy traditional dry Irish stout. With a robust roast flavor in a dry espresso-like finish. Yes, it is. It is a drying palette. I didn't mention that, but yes, it does dry off on the palate. It's not the most dry. Like it, it doesn't suck your mouth from any uh, complete uh, saliva. It's uh, still, you know, it's it definitely has a drying finish. Yeah, this would be a good one. Uh, to uh, actually just compare side by side with Guinness um, because I'm, I'm trying to go by memory of what I remember the, uh, the Guinness Irish draft being versus this and uh, my memory is not always that great so it would have to probably be a side by side comparison but I'd say if you do see this if you do enjoy an Irish stout um, this one's this one's pretty nice. Uh, it's it's not super coffee forward. Like I said, it kind of goes more in that just robust, toasty, roasty, um, ashen. Uh, it reminds me of of a a little bit of ashtray like or uh, smoking some uh, tobacco. Uh, espresso finish. I don't know. You get more coffee, I think, in the aroma than you do on the palate. Personally, that's what I think. Uh, anyways, just want to say, uh, cheers. And I got to give this one a score. Uh, I mean, for the style, I think it's excellent. It's excellent for what it is. I'm actually not a huge Nitro fan, but it does work with, you know, certain beers like this perfectly fine. So, um, compared to Guinness, I don't know. They're both excellent. So, <laughs> cheers, and thank you all for watching. Have a safe and happy St. Patrick's Day.